Thanks for tuning in to CYB TV. This is Cherish. So you guys, guess what? I am finally doing this. This video is going to be very informational. So if you are someone that wants to know all about hair, pretty much and what type of hair you have and the texture you have and just how to better take care of your hair for its overall health to keep its natural state popping at all times, then this video is definitely for you. So you guys, I really want to tailor this so everybody can get something from it, not just people with like my type of hair. So we're going to just really get down to the nitty gritty. At first, First, I had attempted to do this video and I was coming like very like nonchalant like okay this is the things that you can do basic very basic even though I'm teaching you guys basic things because whatever you learn from this these videos or wherever you learn it from you of course have to build on that and tailor it for yourself and I'm just giving you guys just some basics but before when I try to film this video I was literally coming nonchalant like oh La, da, 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 da. but I was like no I am a licensed professional and I think it's my duty to help you guys cherish your beauty that way you guys can feel confident in what you're doing instead of just hearing it from any old body that think they know what they're doing and I'm not trying to bash on anybody you know to each their own but um what works for that person may not work for you point blank period so that's why I want to share like for everyone to get something okay so everything that i'm going to be talking about is straight facts i am not making this stuff up i'm not thinking i'm some um hair guru but i really don't know all about hair i know all about all types of hair not just mine even though i just mainly post about my particular hair but um i just really want to share with you guys the the straight facts just so everyone can have the opportunity to take care of their natural hair guys so i'm going to just really um touch on the definition of cosmetology and pretty much a, a little bit of where it originated from okay so cosmetology is a term used to encompass a broad range of specialty areas including hairstyling nail technology and aesthetics. Cosmetology is defined as the art and science of beautifying and improving the skin, nails, and hair, and includes the study of cosmetics and their application. The term comes from the Greek word cosmetikos, meaning skilled in the use of cosmetics. Archaeological studies reveal that hair cutting and hairstyling were practiced in some of as early as the ice age you guys so that's just a brief description actually it's not a brief it's a detailed description of what cosmetology is and what it entails so as a co licensed cosmetologist i can do hair makeup nails and like skin deal with some of the skin like facials and stuff like that which i i do take advantage of everything that i can do because i am licensed to do so now within the cosmetology realm you can pick specific concentrations me personally it's kind of hard for me to pick a particular concentration because i do feel like i'm equally good at everything that i pretty much um want to do within the cosmetology realm which is like hair makeup and nails i do believe i'm i'm good at those things i'm not the best but i do feel like i'm pretty good and educated and creative and artsy enough to um stick to whatever i want to do within this realm now let me just go ahead and touch on where cosmetology came from just a snippet okay oh if you guys are wondering i have put in 1600 hours straight 1600 hours uh went to state board passed the first time so yeah and just to mention when i actually graduated from cosmetology school which is um i believe back in 2012 even though i've been doing hair and makeup before that i actually got my cosmetology license after i attended um a four-year university after i got my bachelor's in fashion design and business marketing so yes i got it a little later than what i wanted to i wanted to go straight out of um, high school and get it when i was like 17 18 but at the time, I just felt like I needed to go to college first. So anyways, that's neither here nor there. So cosmetology, the Egyptians were the first to cultivate beauty in an extravagant fashion. They used cosmet cosmetics as part of their personal beautification, habits, religious ceremonies, preparation of the deceased for burial. So you guys, cosmetology like really legit originated in e ancient Egyptian times. Okay, so Africa is where most of like the cosmetics hairstyle ha 
have originated from. And yeah, if you do more history on the Egyptians and who they were, you'll know more about facts. I don't really want to get all into that. Okay, so now, like I said, I want to talk about hair. So moving on to the hair and pretty much how it's made up. Okay, so we're going to talk about the structure of hair first. Structures of the hair uh contains a hair root and the hair shaft okay that's like the structure main structures of the hair the hair root and the hair shaft the hair root is part of the hair located below the surface so below the surface the first layer of skin and then the hair shaft is the portion of the hair that proje projects above the epidermis so we usually call the hair shaft the hair strand okay so that's pretty much what the hair shaft is but the hair root is the um inside and underneath the first layer of the skin so structure of the hair root the five main structures of the hair root include the hair follicle the hair bulb the dermal papilla the erector pili muscle and a sebaceous oil glands which really all of them play a major role in just the uh, structure of hair and then how your hair grows and how you um, take care of it. If you don't know the structure of your hair and even the texture of your hair, you won't know exactly how to take care of it, okay? So let's talk about the structure of the hair root. Um, the hair root um, has the hair follicle and it's the tube-like depression or the pocket in the skin or scalp that contains the hair root. But the hair follicle um, is distributed all over the body. So we have um, follicles everywhere, you know, where hair grows, okay? So the hair bulb is the lowest part of the hair strand. It is the thick in club shaped structure that forms the lower part of the hair root. So I am gonna post pictures, you guys, right here, just so you guys can see like the whole main hair structure and the five parts that I'm talking about, just to make it easier for you as I'm reading it. So the hair bulb is the lowest part of the hair strand and is the thickened club shaped structure that forms the lower part of the hair root the lower part of the hair bulb fits over and covers the dermal papilla now the dermal papilla is the very important structure of the hair strand that i or the hair root that i believe okay so the dermal papilla is the small cone shaped elevation located at the base hair follicle that fits into the hair bulb the dermal papilla contains the blood flow and the nerve supply that provides the nutrients needed for hair growth you guys so the dermal papilla is what holds the blood where the blood flow it stimulates everything and holds the nutrients if you don't have your hair just the structure of your hair root on point then i don't know about your hair growth okay so the erector pili muscle is the small involuntary muscle that is what's going to make your hair stand up like when you get cold or chills and something that's what makes your hair that that is the reaction the um erector pili muscle is what makes your hair stand up okay so that comes with strong emotions cold sensations all of that okay and then we have the sebaceous glands the sebaceous glands are the oil glands in the skin that are connected to the hair follicle so if your oil glands aren't on point you guys you're gonna have straight dry scalp dry hair all of that and yeah we need those natural oils to pretty much make our hair feel nice and luscious okay so let's move on to the hair shaft okay remember this is the structure of the hair the main important thing is the hair root which i already said those five major components and i posted a picture here and now the structure of the hair shaft this is also very important we have the hair cuticle you guys we have the cortex and the medulla okay so the hair cuticle is the outermost layer of the hair so that is the outermost layer of your hair strand you guys or your hair um shaft okay and that is uh it consists of overlapping transparent scale like cells okay so that it looks like a um roof like it's the shingles of a roof. So I'm gonna show a picture of that as well, just so you guys can get a better idea. And I know I'm probably talking fast, it's just because I don't want this video to be like super, super, super crazy long. And I am probably gonna do parts of it. So if it's a part one and two and three, then you guys just make sure you watch all of them, okay? But this is, um, so the hair cuticle, it is like scale-like and here's the picture. So I'll show the picture and that is the barrier that protects your hair from all the elements and it's just it should be tight that's the structure of it so we all know the foundation and structure of things is very important so if your cuticle is not healthy then more than likely everything that 
is within the cuticle is not going to be healthy and then you're probably not going to have healthy hair okay so um if you want you can fill your cuticle you can take out a little piece of hair and you can fill up and down the cuticle and if it's smooth going up it then it's healthy and if you're going to feel the ridges regardless once you go the opposite direction that's just because those are the cells but most importantly the cuticle should be tight somewhat just to keep in everything that's within it so what's in the cuticle um is the cortex the cortex is the middle layer of the hair it is fibrous protein core formed by elongated cells containing melanin pigment so the cortex is what holds the melanin so the color of your hair and also the cortex holds the elasticity so most of the time people with curly hair have um everybody should have elasticity but people with curly hair their elasticity when wet should expand at least 50 percent so i'm gonna get more into that when we get to like the types of hair and things like that but curly hair definitely should have excellent elasticity okay but that's what the cortex isn't responsible for it's the middle part and it contains the melanin the color of your hair and also the elasticity so then we move on to the medulla you guys so the medulla is the innermost layer of the hair and is composed of round cells it is quite common for very fine and naturally blonde hair to entirely entirely lack a medulla medulla so in a lot of my videos you guys i have talked about how my hair is fine and thin okay i have fine hair thin hair and we'll talk more about the um why i say that in the density and um the diameter of my hair but anyways the medulla is lacks the medulla lacks mainly in fine thin hair people and um that's and people with blonde hair and that's because yeah i don't know why but <laughs> it's just it usually is common in thick and coarse hair so thick and coarse hair people have medullas and pretty much the medulla is what holds in like the moisture part of your hair okay so i've talked about that you guys you guys get what that was that was the structure of the hair shaft which is the cuticle and then we have the cortex and the medulla so that i think we touched on pretty good so let's move on to i'm really just wanting to share this stuff with you guys so you guys can get an overall understanding of hair okay so chemical composition of hair when your hair begins to grow it goes through a process called carinization and that's when it becomes fully mature and then it starts to fill up with keratin the cells move up or lose their nucleus and die and by the time the hair shaft emerges from the scalp the cells of the hair are completely keratinized and no longer living so that's why people say hair is dead okay hair is not alive so the hair shaft that emerges is non-living fiber composed of keratinized protein so the hair shaft or the strands that you see in your hair they are dead they have literally went through a process of keratinization they filled up with keratin and then they died and then now they are composed of just keratinized protein that's what it is okay so you guys i am going to go ahead into part two 